So we have David Found here again to just give you a Premiere Pro tip that might help you with your video production work. Um, it's just something that makes life a bit easier for when you're uh, previewing your timeline and also to give you a second monitor that you may not have. You may just be editing on one monitor and if you've got uh, you know a laptop or a PC connected to more than one monitor then great but if you've got like I have you've got my setup here which is a, an MSI laptop with a Samsung 4k monitor um, the chances are that you're editing and you're viewing and previewing uh, your footage and your clips and everything else you have on the single monitor so I just wanted to give you this quick tip today um, uh, you're going to probably be thinking that uh, are David's quick tips really that quick? Well, <laughs> maybe they're not quite, quite that, uh, as quick as they should be. But I uh, just wanted to explain the process of utilising, uh, if you've got, as I said, what I've got here, you've got a laptop which has obviously got a screen. Uh, let's use that screen for an advantage. And how do we do that with Premiere Pro? Well, it's fairly straightforward. Uh, I'm going to go into Premiere Pro and uh, just show you where we are with the screen here and what we have i'm going to obviously uh, do a, a screen capture of this but essentially what we have as you can see on my gopro not on my a7r uh, 3 mic 3 is that uh, we have the premiere pro timeline set up and you'll you'll see that on this screen here uh that let me just have a quick look at my gopro yeah that's this screen here that you can see that the preview is showing. Uh, so if I click on any of these items here, it will actually show on my laptop screen. So it gives me a 17 inch, I think this is a 17 inch screen, and it gives me a 17 inch um, preview of what I have on my project bin. So here are all the little uh, 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 thumbnails essentially. And now if I click on each one of those, you'll see that it actually shows on the laptop screen. And that also goes for the source monitor and of course the preview, the, the project uh, um, panel as well. So this is the, uh, the source panel. We'll call them panels because they are panels, they're classified as panels. And this is the project panel or the, where, where it shows you all your bins and where all your project files are held. So every time I click on something on the, on the uh, this is the sequence uh, panel of course, uh, where I compile all the footage um, this is what we have to work with okay so for now I'm just going to um, move on to capturing the screen so here we are in Camtasia it's currently recording uh, my uh, screen okay so we're going to go into Premiere Pro settings into preferences and uh, we're going to go down to playback if you go down to playback, what you'll see here is you've got a number of choices in terms of how you're going to preview or utilize your secondary screen so that you can then preview your timeline, your bins, your project panels, all the panels on there. So currently I've got these two. If I just turn that off, now what we have, we don't have any preview of the screen. Okay, so you can see that. So I need to go back to play, I need to go to um, preferences. I need to go to playback. And what you'll see here is you've got the choice of making the uh, enable mercury transmit. A mer uh, enable mercury transmit sends out a preview uh, image to whatever screen you decide you want to use for your uh, project. I've chosen the Adobe monitor which is classified as the Adobe monitor 19, 20, 1080. That essentially uh, is my laptop screen. That's a, a 1080 uh, resolution screen but I'm working on a 4K. This is the 4K screen. I don't need to click on that because I'm not going to be previewing uh, any of my timeline bins or panels uh, on my 4K monitor. So I'm going to OK on that and now as you can see Everything that I click on, on my Premiere Pro timeline, all the panels now show on my laptop screen as a nice 17 inch preview, instead of just using the previews from the thumbnails here. Of course, 
If you want to preview stuff on Premiere Pro, you can just press the tilde key and that will bring up a, a large preview uh, of your screen. But it's for me, I love the idea of being able to use Merc uh, Mercury uh, Transmit and um, just show you once again where that is. Go to Playback. We're going to go to Enable Mercury Transmit in the Playback uh, settings and choose Adobe Monitor 1920. So whatever monitor you want to use for your preview um, is obviously the one you're going to choose there. So that gives me this ability now just to give me, and of course, every panel now shows on my laptop. That's my tip for today. Thank you for joining me. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like and share, and stay with me for more tutorials and more tips and ideas about uh, how to help you and you know make your workflow a lot easier with uh, your productions. Thank you. Bye bye. Swadhigam. So